Hey everyone, what is going on? So we are doing something a little bit different. I do want to start covering the news related to PvP and not related to PvP. In this case, a lot of it is related to PvP. We actually got an update and the update should be live for everybody. It just went live for me a little bit earlier today. And yeah, a lot of th things have changed and made it better, as I said, related to PvP. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at what's in this update and why it's beneficial. And we might talk about some concerns that some people have that I've noticed. But anyway, let's go ahead and... Oops, my bad. <laughs> jump into the game. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump into Pokemon Go. So the first thing you'll notice with this update, we have a new loading screen. So it looks nice. It doesn't do anything for the game. It's just a new loading screen. But it's always uh, nice to see that. So, uh, we'll take it. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna shiny check that Patrat. Okay, so not shiny. Anyway, that's not related to this video. So, we go into the Pokemon screen and we see a search menu. So, uh, it, it's a lot easier just to have that search menu on the top. I like it. So, search out, I don't know, Mewtwo. And all my Mewtwo's come up. Nothing different, it's not much. It's a little bit, you know, a little bit minor. Not too big of a deal. But I did want to go ahead and show you that. Got a shiny check that a little bit. Okay, it's not shiny. Uh, but what do we have next? Uh, I think a lot of us are going to care about this. We're going to go into the battle screen and we're going to go ahead. Let's jump into the Master League against my team rival. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the Master League and select a different Pokemon. So now if you tap and hold on to the Pokemon, the moves will come up. And this is beneficial because if you take a look at my two Gyarados, I have two Gyarados maxed out. Now I made this mistake before I brought in my wrong Gyarados. One of them, as you could see, is before Aqua Tail became a thing. So I have I don't have Aqua Tail on this one. I maxed this 98% out a while ago. Well, yeah, it is maxed out now. I know it says level 36, but I think it's maxed out now. Uh, but nonetheless, it doesn't have what um, it doesn't have its Aqua Tail. So I meant to bring in this one. But I just made a mistake and brought in my wrong one. Now I can go ahead and just click on it. Wait like literally one second if that and the moves will come up so I can make sure that my correct one is going to be brought in. And if I'm going up against Team Rocket, same thing applies. Let's say I want to bring a Bite Tyranitar. Is this my Bite Tyranitar? Yes it is. Okay, so we could bring that in instead of my Smackdown one. If I wanted to go up against the Ghost type, we want to bring those Bite Tyranitars so we can make sure of that. So super fun, super easy. We have two Dialgas. I could tell by the CP, which is the correct one, obviously. But uh, makes it a lot easier. These have the same moves, but you guys get the point. We love this update. Uh, there's no complaints about this. I haven't seen a single complaint about this. So anyway, let's go ahead and select my team. So we are just battling my team leader. We'll just bring, um, it doesn't matter. We'll just bring this team, right? Go ahead and jump into the battle and see what we have. So you'll notice in just a moment, we do not have a switch menu anymore. We have the two Pokemon on the side and that is huge. We could just click on whatever Pokemon. Let's say I lost the lead immediately. I want to click on Dragonite. Look how fast that is. We click on Dragonite and we're on our way. Now obviously this is not really a great matchup because it has Ice Fang, but you guys get the point. And you could also notice on the side that the uh, switch timers are going down for each Pokemon. So uh, you'll be able to tell when your switch clock is up and will be able to uh, switch accordingly. So really fantastic, really amazing. Uh, no, uh, Some people, I have heard, heard some people say that uh, they generally tap in the middle, or not in the middle, on the side. So if they're tapping on the side, they might accidentally hit their Switch Pokemon. For me, that's never been a problem. I always tap in the middle if you've been watching me. For the most part, I tap above my charge moves. So for some people, that might take a little bit of time getting used to, I guess. If you're one of those players that likes to tap on the side, maybe try to start a tapping in the middle, above the charge moves. That's what I have always been doing anyway. So it's not a problem for me. But uh, I could totally see it being a problem. Maybe some people might be a little bit concerned with that. I totally understand the criticism. But for me, it's great. And I think the majority of us are going to love that feature. I don't see many uh, complaints. Uh, that's basically... We need, didn't try to check that. But that's basically it, right, for the, the updates. We don't have a whole lot to go over. Um, is there anything else? Anything minor? Let's see if the friends list... I thought they were going to add... You could search out giftable... I guess that wasn't added yet. Okay. Trying to check that as well. So I guess, I mean, that's mainly it for the PvP, right? Though that That's huge. That's huge. Uh, we, we love it. Oh, yeah. Another thing um, 
that I guess I'll mention is not related to PvP, but you can click on your Mewtwo, go to Pokédex, and it brings you to your Pokédex Mewtwo. And then when it says see all Mewtwo, you can click on that in your Pokédex, and all of your Mewtwo come up. That's actually really convenient as well. So let's say I want to go to my Pokédex. So I'm in my Pokédex, and I'm looking at the Galar region, and I want to see all the... You know what, let's say I want to see all my Landorus. Just click on Landorus. See all Landorus, and all of your Landorus come up immediately. You don't have to type it out. I don't know if that's really much faster. I mean, it's easy to type it out, so I don't know if that's really going to be a lot faster for you. But it's definitely okay. I mean, I, I like it. I like it. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's basically going to cover it, I think. We're not going to extend this video much further. Uh, I just wanted to bring you that quick little update. I mean, as you guys can see, it's fantastic. I mean, quality of life update, right, for this game, especially for PvP. I mean, they've been... I, I know a lot of us, you know, myself included, we do complain about lag here and there. No doubt about it, and that's totally fine. It's okay to give criticism to especially a game or, like, maybe a TV show or whatever it happens to be, something that you love. It's okay to give criticism for it, maybe... Uh, with the lag, you hate it because you love battling and you hate losing to lag. Especially when you're going to win. I totally get it. I'm the same way. And it's okay to say that. There's nothing wrong with that. But when they uh, do something that's really good, for example, these updates where you could just battle, you could, uh, you know, can you do it from your party? I guess not. Uh, but you can see what moves they have. This is amazing. I absolutely love this. I mean, this is one of my favorite features. This is probably my f this and the switching are definitely those are the two big updates. Definitely huge. Uh, I love it. I mean, I love it. This is amazing. I mean, you cannot complain about this at all. This is amazing. But yeah, we're going to cut the video here. I just wanted to make a quick news update. Um, as I said, if you want to see more news videos, let me know. I might do more news videos. I was thinking about doing a news video on the Community Day Pokemon. I know it's been, it's past, like, I was going to do one on, like, Magmortar, or not Magmortar, but Magma and Electabuzz, that had passed. But if you'd like to see news videos from this channel, definitely let me know, and we can cover... Um, things outside of PvP, even though obviously I love PvP, and this channel is a PvP channel, we also do want to cover more content as well. So, anyway, that's going to conclude this video. I'll see you all in the next one. I hope you all have a great day, and I hope you all enjoy this update. Have a good day, guys. Bye.